James Kaufman, World News Report, today, December 30th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a geomagnetic storm inbound for tomorrow, December 31st, 2024, according to NOAA, and really according to NASA as well. It looks like it will go as strong as a G3 geomagnetic storm, and that is set to hit uh, before noon tomorrow. Now, it looks like we have a second impact late on the 31st and into the 1st that might be these, well, these last two X flares that we just experienced, although the first impact the G3 geomagnetic storm impact is from the X flare that we experienced December 29th. Now, rationale isolated periods of G3 strong geomagnetic storms are likely by midday UTC time on the 31st due to a coronal mass ejection and its effects from the aforementioned asymmetric partial halo event from early on the 29th of December. Lingering G1 minor geomagnetic storming is likely with a chance for G2 moderate levels on the 1st of January. The likely arrival of the second CME also from the 29th. Now I believe that was a strong M class 7.4 M class solar flare. Since then, we've had two X-class solar flares. I don't know if they're inbound. They did release a CME, and we will be able to take a look at that in just one moment. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, they have not modeled the two X-flares from today. One basically happened late last night, and, well, they both happened simultaneously. Those are not modeled or shown here. This is from... The X flare on the 29th, followed by the strong M flare on the 29th. And these are, well, this is the plasma, and they're expecting around just under 30 centimeters cube of plasma. They had that higher up at 50. They also see solar winds going from below 300 kilometers per second being pushed before the plasma gets here up to about 450 and then really going as high as 600 kilometers per second as this washes out. This is our SNOAA's Space Weather Prediction Center, and NASA has actually modeled the X-flare from earlier. You can see it going off here. Earth is a little yellow dot here, so these latest X-flares look like they're going to have missed the planet. This plasma right here you'll see it as the clock starts bang is going to be hitting us tomorrow that's this plasma right here that is the flare that just occurred or the two flares that just occurred today so we are looking for a strong geomagnetic storm tomorrow a new year's eve day geomagnetic storm is anticipated g3 watch Geomagnetic Storm Watch, 31st and January 1st, New Year's Day. A pair of CMEs will likely reach Earth and lead to increased geomagnetic activity. Here it says a flurry of activity occurred the weekend of the 28th and 29th of December as active regions and spot groups became unstable. A litany of R1, R2 level flares took place and even three low-end R3 flares erupted. There were a number of coronal mass ejections associated with the activity, although only two were anticipated to arrive at Earth. A G3 strong geomagnetic storm watch is in effect for the 31st of December, with a G1 minor watch for January 1st. These are anticipated pair of Earth-directed coronal mass ejections. The G1 watch for Jan 1st is being considered for an upgrade to a G2 watch. 
Space Weather Prediction Center forecasters have a fair level of confidence in some measure of Earth effectual components and general timing windows of these two particular coronal mass ejections. However, as is usual with these events, intensity is less certain. We will not know the true potential of the geomagnetic disturbance levels or response until the coronal mass ejections arrive to Earth. They will be about 30 to 60 minutes away at 1 million miles reaching our planet. Their structure and intensity can be measured by our solar wind observatories, i.e. DISCOVER and ACE, and we will know at that point. Neither CME is expected to be a direct hit, which also makes forecasts of intensity more difficult. Continue to follow our webpage for the latest forecasts and updates. So, buckle up, buttercups. We have a G3 inbound, and we very well could have another CME inbound if NASA modeled the two X flares that popped off early this morning incorrectly. God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world.